is the Oliver 240A gravity table. Serial number 8759. This unit is equipped with the air chest dividers underneath the deck. The fans on this unit have been balanced by Bodine Electric. All bearings have been replaced with quality Seal Master bearings and the squeeze lock design. What is a Seal Master squeeze lock bearing? Seal Master is a top quality bearing. This is their gold line inch and 3 16 shaft throughout the gravity. They have serrations cut in the race. This collar then goes around it and you squeeze it tight. This prevents the shaft from spinning inside the bearing and wearing out your shaft. This unit is also equipped with the Oliver air gauges. updated with the ratcheting handles. All new flush mount air filters from Oliver. The gravity table has the three-quarter partial dust hood. The gravity table has the round discharge spouts for the grain. It's also equipped with the motorized shaker conveyor to control the shake of the deck. A motor has been added and a VFD controller will be supplied so that you will have a keypad to control the RPM shaking speed of the deck. We cannot mount the VFD controller yet because we do not know what the customer's voltage will be. The motor is a dual voltage so we will order at the time of sale the correct controller for the customer. The keypad will be mounted here. All belts have been changed. This unit is completely rebuilt but we are waiting for the customer that wants to purchase this unit to tell us what mesh they would like. Whether they do corn, beans, wheat, we will provide the correct mesh. We will also have the poly apron discharge set. Go along here. This has been updated with the Oliver clamp kit. This holds the deck in place all the way around so the deck does not move. Oliver decals and instruction warning labels will be added at the time of sale. Oliver 240, this is the concluding videos customers have purchased so we were able to proceed further. The mesh on this 240 is all new. This is set up for wheat. You got your poly apron sets new riffles. This unit is going to Kansas to clean wheat. We have also installed the VFD control for the shake. You'll be able to speed up and slow down by these two buttons. The unit is installed here with a remote keypad. This is a general walk around of the completed Oliver 240. Decals have been installed, flush mount filters, unit completely reconditioned. Oliver 240A. Our goal at CTI 
is to make the machines just like the factory sent them out. Okay, I wanted to show you the Oliver 80 with a variable frequency drive. When we talk about a VFD to control the shape of the gravity table, this is what we're talking about. All gravity tables must be bolted down. We have this on this rubber pad and this metal stand just to give, it, to give you an idea. But as you can see, it needs to be bolted down solid. We're just doing this for testing purposes. The VFD allows us to use the control box and this keypad to control the speed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's going 401 revolutions per minute RPM. That allows us to speed it up with a touch of a button. Now we're at 599. Can't hardly see the lights out here. Revolutions per minute. With just a touch of the keypad, you have from 400 to 600 RPMs. The start and stop buttons are right here on the keypad. Run will start the shaker motor. Stop it. What the keypad allows us to do is control the shake and also gives us a readout of the RPM. The VFD control allows you to get rid of the mechanical speed control adjustment. Those parts always wore out. It allows you to put a motor underneath here and use a keypad to adjust it. You can go to maximum, you can slow it down, all with the touch of a button. That is what we talk about on a VFD controlled shake on an Oliver gravity table.